When I responded earlier, I hadn't seen the image itself. And seeing the image, it jarred me. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to come out and give a statement, but I got a message from a friend. And I faced a lot of racism in my life, and I can be honest with you, I fought back when I faced racism. I, I fought back with my fists. But there's a lot of people that weren't able to do that. One of my friends told me how he wasn't able to do that. And seeing this image today, the kids that see this image, and the people that see this image, are going to think about all the times in their life that they were made fun of, that they were hurt, that they were hit, that they were insulted, that they were made to feel less because of who they are. And I want to talk to those people right now. I want to talk to all the kids out there, all the folks who live this and now are grown up and are still feeling the pain of racism. I want you to know that you might feel like giving up on Canada. You might feel like giving up on yourselves. I want you to know that you have value, you have worth, and you are loved. And I don't want you to give up on Canada, and please don't give up on yourselves. There's so many people in this country that believe in taking care of one another. I know it's hard to believe right now, but there are. And together, we are going to come together and take care of one another. So seeing this image is going to be hard for a lot of people. It's going to bring up a lot of pain. It's going to bring up a lot of hurt. Please reach out to your loved ones. Please reach out to people who are suffering in silence right now. Please let them know that they are loved and they are celebrated for who they are. When I was growing up, I fought racists. I dealt with them myself and I fought back. But I got a message from a friend who reminded me that there's a lot of people out there that couldn't do that. They couldn't fight back. They didn't have the ability to do that. They couldn't, they couldn't do it themselves. And I think that it's going to hurt to see this. It's going to hurt them a lot. The Prime Minister has apologized. He said he didn't think it was racist at the time. He realizes now that it is. And he's going to continue going on in the election campaign. I'm wondering, do you think his apology is enough for him to say, back then, 2001, I didn't think it was racist. Now I realize I've made a mistake. You know, today I'm not speaking to the Prime Minister, and it's not for me to say that. It's for the people to decide. I'm speaking today to young people, to people who've grown up with racism, people who've grown up being, being told that they were less, being told that they were less worthy, less valuable, and who couldn't fight back and had no way to stand up for themselves. I'm speaking to them, and I want them to know that you are valued, you are loved, you have worth, and please don't let this make you give up on yourself or give up on Canada, because we live in a beautiful place.